Gotta go. Gotta see things. See new places and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget. Hey guys, welcome to part two of the video. And we're gonna be showing you how you can use these quick release plates easily on your Jibun crane and also a monopod right down here. And, oh shoot, I forgot the legs. I'll be right back. Okay, I got those legs, excellent. And using a wider base legs, which are really important when you start incorporating the monopod and stability. Um, for me, this was a really big game changer, um, being able to go from these legs here to the legs down below. These legs are just way too short. And when you start putting on monitors and audio, plus, you know, heavier lenses and cameras, the whole thing will topple over. I didn't like that. And I had this monopod sitting down in my uh, camera bag and I thought, well, why not use this? Because it has such a wide base and it's just, it's so flexible. You know, you can adjust from here to here. You can go a little bit shorter. You really wouldn't want to go that short, but you do have the ability to go really wide. And I'll put links in the description in the box below so you guys can pick up this one. It's a little bit expensive. So if you're on a budget, I probably wouldn't recommend this Velbron Pole Pod 3. It's around 150 bucks. It's quite expensive. But uh, if you do look on Alibaba Express, you can find them. And uh, again, just make sure you get the wide base. It's really important. Okay, so what you need for the system to work is these quick release plates that are really inexpensive. Um, I'll put some links in the description down below and give you some examples that uh, maybe you could find on, you know, Amazon America. And they come in, you know, very small to very wide, but I prefer this size. It's it's about, you know, not too big, not too small in the hand. And, you know, you want to have the big knob so it's nice and easy to turn it on, or sorry, to uh, open it and close it. And it's just, it's a really basic clamp, which I like. I don't need anything fancy. Now to make the uh, system work properly, you're going to need some of these small rig uh, double headed stud mail to mail three eight inch or the quarter inch stud, depending on what, you know, your monopod has or what kind of mount or bracket you'll be buying. But for me, I'm using the three eight inch types. And what I did is I just added it over to the monopod. So it looks like that. And all you got to do is just take the plate put it on there like so, give it a turn, and boom, bada bing, you are ready to go. That quick release plate is on there, it is strong, it's not gonna come off, and you're good to go, it's perfect. Now over here we have the Jiwoon legs, and uh, what we can do is just give this a quick release, slide this off, if we don't need the legs anymore, just place it over there. I'm gonna take the legs, put it underneath the table, so I can actually get to this and give you a quick demonstration. And then all you do is you just slide it on there like so, how I showed in the video previously. Turn it around, 
Obviously you can adjust all this to get it all perfectly lined up. But for now, you are good to go. Turn on your gimbal. Now you can control it any way you want to do. And you basically have a nice little fluid head right here, ready to go. It's awesome. If you don't want to have this anymore, just unclamp it. You're live, take it off, boom. Now you can start to film anything you want to do. Um, a little advice is make sure that you leave it open as wide as possible, so that way it's easy to clip it on and off. Okay guys, well that's it. It's super simple. All you need are two clamps. You just need a monopod with a wide base and some legs. And that's it, you're good to go. All right guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching guys, peace.